Hello and welcome to the tutorial on more than and less than. In this tutorial we're going to do hundreds and we're going to do numbers up to 200. So let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this number 127. 127. And we have to find out 100 more than 127. Now this is relatively easy. Let's uh, we can label the columns of the number. We've got the 7 which is a unit the 2 is a tens and the 1 is a hundred. Let's write this number down 127. The first stage is are we going to count forwards or backwards? Well we're doing more than so therefore we are counting forwards. Now have a look at this number. Let's label it on this side as well. Units, tens, hundreds. Now the units for 7 is not going to change because we're going forward by 0 so that just remains 7. The 2 is not going to change because that's going forward by 0, so that is 2. As for the 1, that is going forward by 1, and that becomes 2. So 100 more than 127 is 227. The only digit that changed was the hundreds. Now on this side, let's do 100 less than 127. Now the first stage, let's just write the number down, 127. Are we going to go forwards or backwards? Well it's less than, so therefore we're going to go backwards. And how much are we going to go back by? Well the 7 is not going to change because we're going back by 0, so that remains 7. The 2 is not going to change because it's going back by 0, so that remains 2. As for the 1, well that is going back, it's going back by 1. Well 1 going back by 1 is 0. So we could put 0 here, but there's no need to. 100 less than 127 is 27. Both of these answers are correct. Let's look at one more example. Suppose this time we have the number 185. 185. Now you know the routine, so we're going to work through this quickly. What is 100 more than 185? Well, the number is 185. Are we going forwards or backwards? It's more than, so we're going forwards. And what it, how much is it going forwards by? The only digit that's going to change is this first one. Because the other two are going to go forward by 0 and 0. So going forward, the 1 is going to change, is going to go up by 1. So 185 becomes 285. 285. Now let's go to this side. We're going to do 100 less than. So what is 100 less than 185? Now again, this is quite simple and you know the routine, so we'll work through it quickly. Let's write the number down, 185. Now are we going to count forwards or backwards? Well, it's less than, so therefore we're going to go backwards. How much are we going to go back by? Well. The 5 and the 8 are not going to change because they're going back by 0. As for the 1, well the 1 is going to change. The 1 is going to go back by 1. If 1 goes back, goes back by 1, it's 0. So therefore, this first digit, number 1, has become a 0. The other two remain as they are. 100 less than 185 is 85. So that was all quite simple. And that is how we do more than and less than of hundreds 
with numbers up to 200.